Sarasam Srojini. You treat only one says? And all people were baptized, Jesus too was baptized. Are you not shocked? Jesus receiving a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins? Confessing the sins. Which is sins Jesus has. He has no sin. Then why did he receive this baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins? They're all shocked. The early church was also shocked. Actually, this was the Jesus receiving this baptism was the quickest that they take of the early church. So we repeat that question. Why did Jesus receive this baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins? Jesus gave himself uh, no. this, this shock of ours was expressed by John the Baptist himself. I will receive baptism from you and you come to me. And Jesus said to him, Now you agree to this. In this way, both of us have to fulfill the righteousness of God. Jesus himself gives a clue why he received this baptism. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 12, when the Pharisees asked Jesus for a sign from heaven, Jesus said to them, no sign will be given to you except the sign of Jonah. That prophet Jonah was in the belly of the fish. So the Son of Man will be in the belly of the earth for three days. So Jesus' sign is a sign of Jonah. That he will be in the tomb for three days. In, the, in chapter 16 of the Matthew's Gospel, we see Jesus taking the Moses to Caesarea Philippi. And Jesus asked them, Who do you say that I am? Simon said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied and said to him, Simon bar Jonah. Simon, son of Jonah. Again, we are surprised. <coughs> what was Simon's father's name? John. In John's Gospel, chapter 21, verse 15, we see Jesus asking him a question. Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Son of John, 
So Simon's father's name is John. Czyli ojciec Szymona ma na imię Jan. But in, in Caesarea Philippi Jesus says. Ale w Caesarei Filipowej Jezus mówi. Simon, but John. Szymonie, synu Jonasza. Jesus changes not only Simon's name to Peter. Czyli Jezus nie tylko zmienił imię Szymona na Piotr. But his father's name he changes from John to Jonah. Jesus is the New Testament of Jonah. Jesus is the Old Testament of Jonah. And he makes Peter son of Jonah. He uczynił Piotra synem Jonah. Simon Peter is the spiritual son of Jesus. Czyli Szymon Piotr jest duchowym synem Jezusa. And therefore the heir, no, his natural heir. Jest jego naturalnym dziedzicem. So Jesus is the New Testament of Jonah. Tak więc Jezus jest Nowo Testamentowym Jonaszem. The Old Testament of Jonah told the people in the ship. Natomiast Stary Testament of Jonah powiedział ludziom na statku. Put me in the water. Wróćcie mnie do wody. And this turbulence will be subsided. I w ten sposób to wzburzone może się uspokoi. In a similar way, Jesus asked John the Baptist. A teraz podobnie Jezus mówi do Jana. Put me in the water. Push me in the water. Put me in the water of the Jordan. Push me in the foot of your tongue. And the turbulence of things of the world will be subsided. After this, the subsided morse, grzech of humanity in the whole world will be subsided. So what is this river Jordan? So in this case, what is the river Jordan? What are these old people that are standing there at Jordan? Marek napisał, że nad Jordanem byli obecni wszyscy ludzie. Święty Łukasz również napisał, kiedy wszyscy ludzie się ochrzcili. Kto to są ci wszyscy ludzie? Rzesznicy. Rzesznicy, którzy wyznali swoje grzechy. Jesus is without any sin. Jesus is without any sin. But he steps into the place of the sinners and asks John to put him in the water. Put him in death. Put him in hell. When we commit sin. Bo kiedy my popełniamy grzech, we deserve death penalty. Wtedy zasługujemy na karę śmierci. Spiritual death. Duchowe śmierci. We fall into hell. Czyli wpadamy do piekła. So Jesus descends to that hell. A Jezus wstępuje do tego piekła. We recite, we recite the creed. Recytujemy to w kredo. Jesus descended to that hell. Jezus wstąpił do piekła. In the Bible, death and hell has only one word. Biblii używa się tylko jednego słowa, zarówno na śmierć, jak i na piekło. In Hebrew, Sheol. To jest hebrajskie słowo Sheol. So, the place of death is the place of hell. A więc miejsce umarłych to jest miejsce piekła. Jesus descends to the hell. A Jezus wstępuje do piekła. Not only after his death. In the river Jordan. The water in the river Jordan. Represents the hell. Represents the death. The place of the sinners. Jesus descends to the hell. Not as a spectator. But as a conqueror. So he descends to the hell. Finds Satan. And takes the keys of death and hell in his hand. And keep the doors of hell open. That is powerless now. Satan is powerless. 
Hell is powerless. Because the keys of death and hell are in the hands of the risen Lord. And he has bound the Satan. In the book of Apocalypse, chapter 1, verse 18, Jesus says, I was dead. I am risen. I owe the keys of death and hell. Let me repeat. When we commit a sin, we fall into hell. Because we deserve that penalty. We, we become lost to sheep. Lost in hell. And Jesus descends to hell. As the good shepherd in search of the lost sheep. So he descends to the hell. And carries us on his shoulder. Who are lost in the hell. So he carries us on, on his shoulders. And then he emerges from this water. He comes up of the water. And the heavens are open. The Holy Spirit descends. Father speaks. Jesus raises us to heaven. This happens when we receive the sacrament of baptism. In the letter of the Romans, chapter 11, and Paul says, by baptism, we are grafted on the open side of Jesus. And Paul uses the term olive tree. In John's Gospel, chapter 15, verse 1, Jesus says, I'm the true wine. And you are the branches. All these, mean, all these things mean the same. Jesus is the true wine. The true olive tree. And we are grafted on him. On his open side, we are the side. In the living water and the living blood. Which flows flow from there. We are grafted on the pier side of Jesus. By baptism and by Eucharist. Living water and living blood. This is what the, in this gospel John said. He baptizes you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Jesus baptizes not in water but in spirit. In the living water for the open side of Jesus. This is how he raises us to heaven. He carries us, carries us on his shoulders. But after that, this was we come to sin. So what shall we do then? During the last supper, when Jesus was washing the feet of the disciples, and when he approached Peter, Peter said to Jesus, I will not allow you to wash my feet. 
Jesus as a king. Now you will not understand. Later you will understand. It is that whatever you say, I will not allow you to watch my feet. Na to, możesz mówić, co chcesz, ale ci i tak nie pozwolę na to, żebyś mi mył stopy. Wtedy Jezus bardzo stanowczo powiedział Piotrowi, jeśli mi nie pozwolisz na to, żebym ci umył stopy, to nie masz ze mną udziału. The word in Hebrew for part is ele. W języku hebrajskim słowo udział czy część Brzmi Helen. It means inheritance. A Helen znaczy dosłownie dziedzictwo, spadek. What you inherit from your father, the property that you inherit from your father. Czyli własność, jaką dziedziczysz po swoim ojcu. So, if you do not allow me to wash your feet, a więc jeśli mi nie pozwolisz na to, żebym ci umył stopy, you have no share in my father's property. Nie masz żadnego udziału we własności mojego ojca. Peter was a double to that man. And he heard about the property, father's property. He wanted all property to himself. So he said to Jesus, That is the case. No, w takim wypadku you have to wash not only my feet, but you may fall back. Musisz mi umyć nie tylko stopy, ale wykąpać mnie całego. Jesus said, Wtedy Jesus powiedział, One who had a bath already, ten, kto już się wykąpał, there's no need to have a bath again. Nie potrzebuje kolejnej kąpieli. It is enough that his feet are washed. Wystarczy, jeśli umyje się mu stopy. One who had a bath already. Ten, kto już wziął kąpiel. It is that first bath which Jesus is referring to. Cóż to za kąpiel, do której Jezus się odnosi? Baptism. Jest to chrzest święty. We already told you that that by baptism. Powiedziałem wam już, że mocą chrztu świętego. We are bathed by the Holy Spirit. Jesteśmy wykąpani przez Ducha Świętego. We are covered by the Holy Spirit. Because we are grafted on the upper side of Jesus. In the living water, the Holy Spirit. So whatever sins we commit after baptism. It will not make our life entirely dirty. It is as though our feet are dirty. Czyli można to przyrównać do tego, że jest tak, jakby jakbyśmy pobudzili sobie tylko stopy. So we have to allow Jesus to wash our feet. I wtedy musimy pozwolić Jezusowi, żeby nam te stopy umył. Then only we can have a share in the Father's property. Dopiero wtedy będziemy mieć udział w we własności Ojca. Where do we allow Jesus to wash our feet? Gdzie pozwalamy Jezusowi na to, żeby nam umył stopy? The confessionary. Confessionary. We allow Jesus to wash our feet. Confessionary. Pozwalamy Jezusowi na to, by umył nam stopy. Jesus kneels before us. Confessionary. Jezus przed nami klęka. He washes our feet. My jednak stopy. Why? Wyciera je. Cleanses. Oczyszcza nas. And put on us the best robe of supernatural grace. I nakłada na nas najlepszą szatę nad przyrodzonej łaski. And leads us to his bed, the altar. Potem prowadzi nas do swojego stołu, czyli ołtarza. And he gives himself. A tam daje nam samego siebie. And we and he become one. I wtedy my i on stajemy się jedną. He and we become one. On i my stajemy się jedną. Therefore he said, if you eat this bread, you will not die. Właśnie dlatego powiedział, jeżeli będziecie spożywać ten chleb, to nie umrzecie. I think we understand now what the meaning of this and it is a hell. I myślę, że teraz już rozumiemy, co to znaczy stąpić do piekła. When we come to sin, we put the yoke of Satan on our shoulders. Then we 
And he put her in such a way. Jesus breaks this yoke. And release us from death. Release us from hell. Because he has bound Satan. So Jesus descended to hell. Means he descends to our supernatural. To, to, że Jezus wstąpił do piekła, oznacza, że wszedł w naszą sytuację. W naszą sytuację śmierci i grzechu. Wiąże szatana. Łamie jarzmo szatana. I uwalnia nas. I prowadzi do swojego stołu. Śmierć nie ma teraz żadnej mocy. Piekło nie ma żadnej mocy. Ponieważ Jezus już związał szatana. Ale żebyśmy mogli doświadczać tej wolności, musimy pozwalać Jezusowi, by nam mył stopy. And then he leads us to his table. A potem prowadzi nas do swojego stołu. And he becomes one with our flesh and blood. I staje się jedno z naszym ciałem i krwią. So that we become one, not only on the earth, but also in heaven. Tak, abyśmy byli jedno nie tylko na ziemi, ale również w niebie. Now the Lord and we become one flesh. Teraz my i Pan stajemy się jednym ciałem. So that on earth and in heaven we continue to be one. Oto byśmy stanowili jedno, zarówno na ziemi, jak i w niebie. 